2021 will be the year of eye makeup. Colorful, bold, trendy eye makeup starts now. Hi guys, it's Iris. Recently, Tian talked about beauty trends in 2021 on What's Trending. Today, I am going to talk about my most anticipated trend, eye makeup. As we began to wear masks every day, only our eyes started being visible and that's why eye makeup became a trend keyword in 2021. It's not just the classic cat eye anymore, but more bold and unique eye makeups are being really trendy. So today I brought two eye makeup looks for you guys, pastel tones and graphics, so stay tuned. The point of the pastel toned eye makeup is color matching and blending. Those of you who already follow me on Instagram may already know, but I love putting on makeup and so I put on a lot of different looks and upload it on my feed. I've tried out pastel toned makeup before, but today I'm going to try Taeyeon's makeup look from the Korean TV show Amazing Saturday Doremi Market. Because this is an eye makeup video, if you want to see how to do base makeup, check out the video up here. I'm going to apply my eyeshadow vertically today. If you apply it horizontally, it usually gives you a deeper eye look, but if you do it vertically, it's going to make your eyes larger up and down, making a cuter look and enlarging your eyes. Taeyeon's eye makeup look is blended vertically as well, and it has a fresh and lively vibe that's going to be perfect for the spring. The eyeshadow is most important for today's makeup look, so I'm gonna use this palette and these three colors. Firstly, I'm going to use the yellow and focus on the upper center parts. And on the outer underline, I'm going to use this palette and this peachy color. On the outer V, and from the inner to the center of my underlines, I'm going to use a green. And you want to make sure the green isn't invading too much of the center because you want the yellow to really pop out. And to make sure my colors are all blended really naturally, I'm just going to grab a subtle yellow and just blend over my eye in general. And to make the green more pop out, I'm going to use a darker shade of green just on a more narrow side of the greens I already applied. Because I already made my eyes look larger up and down, I'm not going to go crazy on the eyeliner but just tighten my lines and just make it a little bit longer in the outer corners. Before applying glitter, you want to curl your lashes first because you don't want the glitter getting all over your lash curler. Have you guys ever seen this? This is actually a lash curler made to curl your lower lash line. It's really cool. I'm going to use this today because I want my eyes to look more rounder. This curler is really hard to use compared to normal lash curlers, so you want to make sure you guys don't hurt yourself. <laughs> and I'm gonna use a glitter and I'm just gonna go in the inner corners of my eyes. Last but not least, apply mascara on your top and bottom lashes. If you hold the wand vertically when applying mascara on your bottom lashes, you can get a more precise coat. I'm not going to use fake eyelashes today, but because I want eyelashes like Taeyeon's, I'm going to use tweezers to just pinch together some of my eyelashes to make them more doll-like. Now, we're done Taeyeon's pastel toned makeup look! Sijin's graphic eyeline, the black negative space eyeline's point is the clean, precise black line. In the concept photos of G Idol's recent January comeback mini album Eyeburn, two members had a graphic eyeliner look. Sijin gave an alluring feel with her black graphic eyeliner, while Shuha gave a dreamlike feel with her white graphic eyeliner. 
We held a survey with you guys with trenders and Sujin's makeup look had an overwhelming response. So today, I'm gonna show you Sujin's eye makeup look. I'm gonna use this palette and this color to put a base over my eyelids. I'm gonna go in with this color, a darker shade, and I'm going with my inner corners and my outer corners to add dimension. This is the palette I'm gonna use next. I'm gonna use a reddish color, Gumdrop, and put it on the center of my eyelids. If it's not focused on the center, your eyes might look puffy, so be careful. I'm gonna use the same color on the lower lash line from the inner corners to the center. I'm going to use the shade Hot Toddy and put it in a smaller area than the shade that we just did. Because this is a glittery shade, I'm just going to use my fingers and then blend it with a brush. Apply the color Spiked Egg Knock starting from the inner corners of your eyes until it meets the red part. It's time to do the most important part of this makeup look, the negative space eyeliner. It's not as hard as you think, so we're just going to start with drawing a cat line. You might wonder, how far do I have to draw the wing? Draw a dot where your crease and the outer shape of your eye meets as a guideline, then it'll be easier. Next, at the end of your classic cat eye, connect it to the end of your crease, so when they meet it, it creates a triangle shape. You want to make sure you dry it before you open your lids, you don't want it to smudge. And another thing we're gonna add, I'm gonna draw a mole. Sujin has a mole under her left eye and rather than concealing it, she actually accentuates it. So for a precise detail makeup look, I'm just gonna draw the mole. Now I'm going to apply mascara on my top and bottom lashes. Unlike Taeyeon, Sujin actually put her bottom lashes like they were kind of clumpy, so I'm gonna put one coat on and then another coat to make it look like hers. So I'm finally done Sujin's makeup look. Today, I tried two makeup looks that are going to so, so, so be the trend in 2021. Which one did you guys like better? Tell us in the comments below. And also, if there are any other K-pop idol makeup looks you want to see, let us know as well. Until next time, bye guys!